We're on. All right. We'd like to give all praises to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Akar Kodash. You know, double honors to our apostles, our bishops, our elders, on in the Akim down the ranks that's pushing this truth out of sincerity, all right, throughout the earth. So, um, Whenever you brothers is ready, because you have a lot, of, you have a lot of um, our people that don't know, like um, they have a difficulty with certain of the Lord's creation, man, of of, of this other of world that we live on, the dimensions and things like that. So we hopefully we can clear that up. It's Isaiah chapter forty, verse twenty-two, and it says, "It is He that sitteth upon." circle of the earth. That's right, as he that sit upon a cir the circle of the earth, meaning a sphere, a sphere, all right? That's a, that's how the earth we live on, and it's the most high, because the earth is the, the most high's footstool, all right? Now, I got something for you, because we're going to pretty much counterclaim some of the arguments that they made. One of the arguments they make is, we're going to read the Genesis 1 and 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So the argument they, they claim is a sphere doesn't have a face. Right? It's, they say it's a it's a flat thing, but when you go into that word here for face, it's the evil word panyum. Okay. The face of the okay, panyum, right? Panyum. Okay. Which, which could also mean um a surface. Alright, yeah. Because if you look at our own faces, it's not a we don't have flat faces, it's yeah. curvature and you know what I'm saying? So, a surface, all right? And you have the deep, you have the um, the deep, the ocean, and the outer space, okay? Okay, cut, cut. Yeah. Go ahead. That's um, it. That, that was it. That was the point. I was going to bring out. Um, so, the deep is the ocean, and it's outer space, all right? Hey, now it's too weak. Let's not block the south. Yeah, no, no. So, look, you stay here for part of them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I got First Timothy one and four. It says, "Neither get ye to fables and endless ye not ge genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith." So yeah. Good. So um, we're going. Uh, I'm going into our uh, foolishness, man. We, we listen. There's no such thing as a flat Earth. Okay. Now, there's maps you could draw. You could have a map, and it's a flat surface. But okay. But no, we don't live on we don't live on a frisbee, all right? Let me see if I get the moment the lesser light Genesis going into the moon. Because um like the farm is cut. Because okay. you know, you, you write it. The Lord the Lord created light. And the light on the earth before he created the um, sun and the stars, all right? Mm -hmm. I got, you got it. This is Genesis 1 and 14. And the powers said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days of years. That's right, signs and seasons, and the earth has a brighter light and a dimmer light. Now, before the sun and the stars was created, that brighter light and dimmer light, that dimmer light that we call nighttime, <clears throat> it was a distinction from the darkness of outer space. It's two di it's a different dial of light, all right? And the moon also has that type type of light, all right? All right, and we don't we don't get amazed dismayed by the signs of heaven, but I don't look at it with with with, with, te with telescopes and things like that, which I already believed in the scriptures. The moon has a, a brighter light and a dimmer light, all right? And the moon it, 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 it moves around the earth. All right, so you could um you could you could see that. Well read that again, I'm sorry. I got a quick point to make. It says that there are for seasons. Now if you look at um how do we dictate our seasons, right? We, we look at the moon. We have the moon. You have the half moon, you have the new moon, the full moon, and then you have the crescent moon, which is a circle, like, you know, faces of a circle. Basically, it's the Earth shadow being casted upon the moon. And the only thing that can give a perfect circle at any particular angle is a sphere. You put a sphere in front of light, and any way you angle it, it's a block of a particular circle, it's always gonna be a circle. That's right. You know, only a sphere does that. You know, also, um, we were speaking about this off camera, the sundial is in the scriptures, and how that work? That works based on, the, a sundial work, is based on the shadow at a particular angle that is casted by the sun. 
and this can only be done on a concave surface. You can't have different angles at different locations, all right, on a flat earth. Yeah. You know, if I'm over here in Manhattan and you in the Bronx and we both have a sundial at the same time and I'm getting a different angle from you, that means we're not on a flat plane. We're not That's on right. a level plane. Yeah, and if you was to build a, a structure, you would use surveyors and they, and they use trig and certain math, math to do that because of the curvature of the earth, all right? Well, now, if we, was a, if we was a flat earth, we wouldn't need surveyors. We wouldn't need, we wouldn't need surveyors if there was a flat earth. We wouldn't need land surveyors, okay? Well, you got to look at something right here. You got to look at another thing. You got these people thinking that the earth is flat and um everything that's in, in, in between, you know, it's just, you know, fuel cell. But you got to look at this right here. If the earth is flat, then every, then every, then when you go a certain amount of miles and you will fall off, first, then you go into the abyss. The earth is not flat, man. The well, earth is round, man. Well, these flat earthers, they pretty much say it's a flat circle surrounded by layers of ice. Come on, man. That's what they say, man. These hey, people are bugged out. Well, it's it, bugged out. It's, 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 but you know, you got to understand it, you know what I'm saying? We went through this, the apostles went through this very miss of of various times. If you don't get it, you can go to GMS, Flat Earth, the bunk, and all that shit, you know what I mean? And guess what? You will find out that that's a, bu a bunch of bullshit. Right, yeah. So the Earth has a brighter light and a dimmer light, which is also called an international date line. We have gravity that keeps us on the sphere. All right? If we, if there was no such thing as gra listen, all right. Now, <laughs> don't make sense. forgive me, brothers, <laughs> if I be on a rant, but I gotta do this. No, I, I, There's I, I, two I, forms of gravity. Right. There's a gravity that keeps us on this, earth, on this earth, and keeps the stars and the, and, the, and and everything from colliding. And then we have a gravity in our body that keeps our atoms together. It's called a strong nuclear force or strong force. Now that's force is stronger than the gravity that's keeping us on the earth. If there was no gravity, our body wouldn't be able to stay, stay together. Huh? Now, can I say it something? Is. Let me say something, right. too, about gravity. Because what they believe is that Earth is constantly... I've looked it up. Some of them believe that we're on a flat plane that's constantly ascending. And some of them think that, um, oh, it's just a commandment that the Lord said this must go down. But it depends. Here's the thing, though, right? Why does oil separate from water? Because water is denser than water. So that it, 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 the fact that it's dense in the ground, it's, it's having it has a harder gravity being pulled upon it, separates it. This happens in the sea, right? Yeah, yeah in, the, in the oceans, you have the ocean, which is denser than water, water is above, and, and then water is denser than air, which is above. Yeah. So, gravity is a thing, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just because Esau goes into some particular science, that doesn't mean the scriptures does not deal with science. That's right. And oil is important, because oil also, it, 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 that's what, what you think your cell wall is made of, it's oil. Mm. And that and that um that basically protects the cell from certain objects from going into the cell. And also it the cells in your body. It lubricates the earth, the tectonic plates. Yeah. It lubricates the tectonic plates to prevent earthquakes. So you send up much energy out of the earth, which guess what's gonna happen? Going to be a destruction, man. So, you know, we got it. I got another scripture too that we're going to deal with because they say that this proves that the world is flat, but we're going to break it down correctly. This is Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Now, the argument is how can every eye see him? He's going to flat earth. Number one, those satellites that's I mean, out if, there. If we're on a circle of earth, how can everybody see him? That's their argument. Go ahead. The, number one, the, the satellite, the satellites is out there, and number two, the laws chariots defy those fire the physics that and the laws that we that we live by. But also the television. Yes. It's how come everybody's gonna be able to see him from all the world is because uh -huh. just like how everyone sees us from all the, all mm -hmm. across the world, right? We have people in Africa, people in yeah. the Middle East, all of them are watching us now via this internet. So when you have this major event happening such as the Lord coming down from the skies, it's going to be broadcasted everywhere. And he said, what? The Lord is coming from the eastern hemisphere to the west. Also. But they might say, oh, uh, the Lord is coming from one part of the earth to the next, right? Mm -hmm. Coming from the east to the west. Right? And, then, and then 
and if, if you have to deal with, if you, if you flat earthers, all right, that's a true breakdown, all right, that look, Lord is going to be seen because it's going to be broadcast, right? Mm -hmm. And now the second part is, you got to explain this. It says, it says, and they also which pierced him. All right. So, yeah, the people that pierced the Lord. So, you telling me they lived 2,000 years? Yeah, no. No, no. no. So, you want to you wanna be an asshole? No. That means reincarnation. Right. And that means also that the Lord is going to put it back in their memory to know what they're being destroyed for. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, all the kings of the earth shall well because of him, even so, a month. So playtime is done. The Lord is basically coming to give death, deliverance, and destruction. All right? Like, you know, how would always like to um, bring out. The truth okay? okay? So, um, and another thing, when you brothers get the chance, I know you're bringing out something first. Could I get um, a, a false balance is an abomination? I got another one. Um, because we gotta understand where did this flat earth shit come from? Oh, Esau, forgot, Esau, the one yeah. that really be surfed. I forgot to do his name. I forgot Charles his name. Right. No, no, Joe Dolan's evolution. There's another Edomite okay. around the 1800s. He started to bring back this whole concept of we're on a flat earth. But this one just says, it says, how be it? We speak the wisdom among. Hold on, stop here. Um. Okay, First Corinthians three. 319, it says, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. Yeah, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high, because of the wisdom of this world and who's controlling that wisdom, Esau, is foolishness. It's unprofitable, it's vain, and it's just plain out dumb, man. All right? Just to promote something like that on flat earth, man, that's not balance. That's not balance, man. How are you going to put beings or something that's 2D, man. Uh, another thing, too, is like when we when we say, okay, like, for example, the moon landing and the bullshit, right? Uh -huh. there's, there's a reason to keep that a conspiracy, because they embezzled $2.5 million, they murdered people. Uh -huh. There's no real reason to keep spent trillions of dollars to tell people that we live on a, a globe instead of a flat earth. There's no benefit to it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So... He, he saw when he tells his lies, there's some sort of purpose or reason behind him a lot of times to benefit him. There's no benefit. In, on, on, only thing he's going to do is just create more double answers. Yeah, he can probably come out already when I bring that again because this is mm -hmm. Isaiah 40 and 22. It is he that sitteth upon the surface of the earth, yeah, yeah, as in heavens thereof, uh, as grasshoppers. So that means we're on the low, we're low to, we consider us grasshoppers to the angels, to the most high, the Lord and the angels. We consider us grasshoppers, man. They, they're basically, the, 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 the earth is their footstool, man. All right, it's meaning they on a higher level than we are. And real, real quick, can I say something too? A spheres are naturally formed, right? Like with pressure and, Things create natural bubbles, bubbles of, of spheres, right? Yes. You, just, you can blow a bubble in the, air, the earth atmosphere, mm -hmm. you got bubbles in in um, the waters. Mm -hmm. Things create a spheres, uh, sphere, spherically is natural, man. So you're mm -hmm. going to tell me you can look in the stars, see everything is a perfect circle, mm -hmm. but we're not a perfect circle. Mm -hmm. You know? It's crazy. Or some sort of a circle, like it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. And then to have earthquakes, I'm sorry to cut you off, but to have earthquakes, if you're on a flat surface and you have earthquakes, man, picture a crack and you, and you snap it in half. That's not, that's not what happened. That's the whole earth. <laughs> the whole earth will break into sunder if that was so, because you have a spit, you know, a spit. The earth is ramp. you know what I mean? And so if you keep drilling for oil, you should end up in outer space. The earth is real. So this part of the earth have an earthquake. This part of the earth have an earthquake. This part of the earth have an earthquake. And then what the scriptures talk about, the core of the earth, the fire unfolding. So you have two parts of the core. You have spinning hot metal that's fire or whatever. You got a fire. The earth is made up in... The, the core is made up in two different layers. I know it's one is spinning metal and iron. fire. The, 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 the core of the earth is, is iron. That's what creates the magnetism. Uh -huh. the earth. All right, and then you got that, that you got that that fire too. That, oh. that springs out and break and makes new land or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, on a flat, that those things can't happen on a flat earth. 
How you can't have no core like that on a flat earth? It's impossible. Think about it. Visualize it. Another thing too is you can do a test. You can do a test. You can go on a, a, a level flat beach, lay on your back, and if you watch the sunset, immediately stand up. And you can see the sunset again. So if the, if the sun was going further away, it would just be getting smaller and smaller. But however, you see it going down on the horizon. It it's keeps going it down. down. It's going down. And then when you look at it, the brothers leave on the horizon. On the horizon, you see the you see the um then the town of the um is um what you call um the um early in the morning the sun rising the sun rising you see the sun setting coming up mm. it's coming up yeah. then the time of dawn then the horizon you see the sun that's what's called the horizon you see the sun coming up. I can say something too about that. If we lived on a flat plane and it was coming closer, it would be changing in size. We don't see the sun change in size. You know, we see the sun, it's, it retains the same size as, as it's moving up. Because the sun is moving around the earth. That's in the book of First Ezra, the fourth chapter. Like the sun has a course. That's right. You know, it's the one that's moving, not the earth. Oh, that's another scripture I got to bring out. Um. Because what you, what you realize that you got you got a lot of dudes that call themselves Israelites that's bringing out a flat earth theory was going into Esau's philosophies, man. This is totally bullshit because the earth is round. And Yahweh, why Yahweh shot plainly show you that the earth is round, man. The circus of heaven. You know what I mean? The circus is, is, is a round. The circus of heaven is a round. So it's not it's nothing flat about the earth, man. But guess what? You got these dudes out here that call them some Israelites that will try to debunk that, try to debunk Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, and say the earth is flat. They going off when they bugged out doctrine. Okay, hey, boy, you got it. This is one of the scriptures that they use, and um, this is the book of Psalms 93 and 1. It says, The Lord reigneth, he clotheth with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established, and it cannot be moved. Now, they say, okay, that means that the world is not spinning around the sun, which is true. We live in a geocentric universe. The earth is the center of the universe. But the earth does move in a sense. Like, it does rotate on its own axis. The apostles already went into this. Um, but the word, therefore, move, King David also said, I shall not be moved. The same word, he used the same Hebrew word, mawat, right? Does that mean that King David never moved again? Of course not, man. Now, the, the way... Scientists have come to prove, and it makes sense that the Earth does move, and it's at somewhat of a little angle. All right, is because right now it could be the summertime in New York, and it could be winter in Australia, and then six months later, it's winter in Australia and summer summertime over here. In New York. Why is that? It's because the way the law have it. The way the law have it. Also, the amount of sunlight that is that is getting casted upon the Earth from the sun, man. You see, the surface of heaven. Yeah. So. That can't happen. You can't explain to you. Look, the scriptures deals with seasons. That's in the scriptures, right? Good. The scriptures deal with seasons. We know that. So explain that. How can you have two different seasons? Winter and summer on a flat earth. Tell me. It's impossible. It's impossible. You see, these stupid ass jakes that go into the theories of Esau about this flat earth theory, they lost, man. That's a stumbling block. And the Lord did that to you. The deceived and the deceiver are the most highs, man. Mm -hmm. So you've been deceived to believe in some flat earth theory. And that's not and that's not the case, man. There's no flat earth, man. The, the earth is round, man. Got something for you. Psalms 25, uh, Proverbs 25 and 2. It is the glory of the most high to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. Read it again. It says, it is the glory of the most high to conceal a thing. It's the glory of the most high to conceal a thing. Make things secret. To, to make things secrets to the public, where only a certain amount of few can get it, mm -hmm. but the rest are blinded to the this, this secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The honor of kings is to search out a man. So a true king, a true a king, David was a king and a prophet. He searched out matters. King Solomon was a prophet and a king. He searched out matters. You know what I'm saying? So the men of today, 
that's following the steps of the prophets of the ancient world is doing the same thing, man. So searching out matters, yeah, bro. Right. So back then, if that was a question or something posed to someone, a prophet of the Lord, the prophet would have an answer. Sure, exactly. So man. they've been understood that the world was spherical, man. You had this guy, um, you had Aristotle, these different Greek philosophers. Aristotle, yeah. And what they did was they pretty much put an obelisk in the world in Sa'im at another point in another Greek uh, state. I forgot where they put it, but they, pretty much it was perpendicular two straight lines. You can do this on your own. And what you'll notice is they're perpendicular. They're the same distance, right? At one point in the day, they'll have no shadow. At noon, they'll create a perfect line, right? Perpendicular, but there's gonna be one point where one of them has no shadow and another one has a shadow. How can that happen? It has to be on a concave. They'll be they looking. Would, They'll, they'll, if it was on a flat plane, they'll be constantly parallel. But this is why the scriptures say you have to search out the matter. Like you have to, people come to us with questions, you have to give them answers. And you know something else? Bottom line, before you bring up that scripture, it's all according to the um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. If you're a part of, if you're a man of the Lord, and you have under, and the most high put understanding in your spirit, you can discern between fucking bullshit and, and truth. You're going to understand that the earth is round and it's not flat and all this bullshit that Esau is coming up with is nothing but his philosophies, which is his belief, you know? This is 1 uh, uh, Timothy, Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, and it says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoid avoiding profane and vain babbling. Now, I, you know he used that scripture against me when I'm, trying to, when I'm trying to tell him all this particular science. Right. He's saying that anything outside the scripture is vain babbling. What I'm trying to tell this dude is seasons, our calendar, all these things are something right. that we have to search out. Like, you know, how would somebody get to understand it? Right. But, 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 what this guy don't know is the Lord put you in his life through his sister. To bring out the truth to him. Yeah. If he forsake the truth and stop bucking up against you, he's bucking up against you. How are you? How Bottom line, you got to discern. You got to use discernment. It's like it. Bottom line, because they're going. No, no, it's not going to Bottom line, you got to use discernment. The Lord used this brother here through his woman because the Lord is dealing with, hey, this brother Shimon got his woman. But to get to her, her brother, he's bringing out scriptures. So now if you is going to buck up against logic and go with Esau's bullshit, hey, sometimes Esau's bullshit, not, all, not sometimes, all the time Esau's bullshit is going to lead to your destruction. This man is bringing out truth and, and the Lord is using this man to show you the right way, man. If but we want to buck up, that's your that's on your own accord. Yeah, bro. Alright, so it says, O Timothy, first Timothy 6 and 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid in avoiding profane and vain babblings. Something that's vain is something that holds no profit. This is what I was trying to tell this guy, like, yo, what what does that have to do with your salvation? Right. You should be worried about the name of the Lord. It's in sure. But wait a minute, there's no vows. That's, that was interesting about the Greeks. Research that. Going to the fact that this thing was only for Israel. But, nah, but he wants to go should. on a book of Enoch. He wants to go on a flat. Oh, he's gone, gone, bro. He's, he's, gone, he's, he's gone, gone, bro. He's gone. But if you show him, bro. I'm not saying that. But, you see the but, but if you show him, bro, because you have the love. If you show him on a blue letter and you show him, bro, and he still buck up, he's gone, bro. Leave him alone, bro. He's now, gone. There's, there's certain things you can observe, bro. That's not full science, right? We right now, we're... We're at the bottom of the hill, but if we look up, up at the precipice, you, you can't see it on the camera. There's certain views that we cannot see because it goes up and it comes back down a little bit, right? It's, that's something I can literally observe with my eyes. That's not no deep science. No, that's not some science. That, no, that's not deep science. I'm fucking. I'm looking straight ahead. There's certain <laughs> things that's obstructing my view because I'm at the bottom of the hill. It, it, there's a curvature at the top. How come when the ships, when the ships go out, they disappear? Disappear the coastline, whatever the, the horizon. horizon. Yeah, they go down the horizon bottom. That's how come the light posts are never built on a level plane. Because the higher up you go, 
the more you can see. That's right. So they, exactly. they put it high up there so when sailors are trying to find a port or whatever, they can see the stick at the curvature. Yeah. And when you're on a light post, when you're on the lighthouse, the ship don't just go from small to big as it gets closer. Right. You see the top, you see the middle, then you see the entire ship yes. coming over the horizon. You know, well, these are the things you gotta get out of your system. You gotta learn these certain things you gotta learn, man. And, and know, like, man, come on. It says, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so-called opposition or science science and here to know knowledge oh yeah that's not a bad word or a bad thing not bad it's just you gotta know the, the right and not the right right knowledge man okay it says which some professing have erred concerning the faith grace be with them oh, yeah yeah erred man you know the, you know, you got, um, you got people that believe in evolution and um, Darwinism and um, flat earth and they went, to the moon. they went to the moon. Man, these is all foolish things, man. You know? Thank, thank God that we got this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. And we learn from our apostles and elders on down. But uh, Are you familiar with something called the, um, the source of the sea? The the poor, the poor lateral effect, the poor set, some sort of effect. Basically, there's a reason when you flush a sink or flush a toilet in the northern hemisphere, it spins counterclockwise, but in the southern, really hem southern hemisphere, it spins clockwise. Yeah. And that's because of the poles or something. The poles and, and the rotation of the earth. Now, even people that shoot bullets, they have to account for a slight rotation in the earth. Right? Yes, that's right. Um, they got they got to, they got they, the snipers, they got the weather, yeah. gravity, all of that because they got to account for that, so if they're shooting, I don't want to point to brothers if, damn, I, I don't have an object because I don't want you to keep paying the camera, but they got to, they got to, um, I forgot how they do it, like if they aiming for someone's head or on their heart, they, they, it's not they aiming directly, aim directly, it's not, yeah. yeah, they're not aiming directly, you know, and they talk about, especially that dude that you see, that Jake, he had the dreads, I forget his name, oh, yeah. he's on black. Yeah, he's on fly. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah. 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 yeah they have to account for these things. You have to account for the concave for the earth, man. Uh -huh. All right? Another thing, too, is these scientists that put themselves in orbit, the astronauts, they got to make sure that they don't go too far and go straight out to space or they don't go too down and get sucked back into the earth's yeah. atmosphere. They got to make sure they position themselves correctly to stay in that circular orbit, man. Yeah, because of the, because of the, um, because the earth is a spin. I got something you know, just for earlier that you know the most I keep saying secret and you gotta search them out. It's Amos 37. So did the Lord Yahweh by Shin Yasha to do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto the servants of the prophets. Yes, yeah, right. So the prophets, Lord willing, we the elect them, we the prophets of we, 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 we've been given these um this the secrets. Such all as right. the knowledge of other earth is shaped like that. Yeah, what the, what, yeah, we have an unction to know all things, so the Lord revealed all things to us, 100% of the truth. This is, um, this is Luke 1 and 70, just to prove that they've been known that the world was circled. This is uh, Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of the holy prophets, which has been since the world began. Since the world began, all right? And the elect was uh, with the angels, and the Lord creating the universe and the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? On a deeper level. So we have this understanding. And, and basically, if we are lucky, we're educated, educar, kari, right? Educar, meaning it's the draw out. So this is knowledge we already had already. Right? Yeah. And you look at like certain flight patterns with planes, right? Why do they, for example, why do, when you go from, you in California, you want to fly to Japan, why do you fly west? Yeah. If Japan is in the east, why would you fly west to go yeah. to Japan? Yeah. It's because it's a circumference. And it's a shorter yeah. distance because it's a circumference. And they got to have air traffic control so other planes don't collide with each other. If you do you know, because you know how, how the plane is, I'm not sure of the science, but you know, uh, that keeps it from gravity, from it, the plane going back down and the curvature and all of that, they got to make sure that the planes don't collide with each other. If the air traffic control mess up, that a lot of lives 
That's, a, that's yeah. another thing to prove gravity. Anything that's moving needs some force. Like, the reason... Bird, force. They need, yeah, you got to create some sort of force, right? Well, the reason birds are not dropping to the earth is because they have wings to fly, and they, they put a force to keep themselves up. The way we move, we're applying some sort of force to move. If not, then gravity does the same, right? I was gonna say, it's like throwing a ball, you know? Yeah. Like, the amount of force you use, it, it keeps it at a certain level until the force eventually slows down and it falls. Yeah, if there's no gravity, how come when I let go a ball, why does it go down? Why doesn't it go up? There's air all around it, Yeah. you know? There's gravity acting upon it, man. Well, where is that in the scriptures? <laughs> you gotta use, right. you gotta know things, man. Because it'll be, it'll be, it'll be kind of tedious. The Lord want us to know certain things. <laughs> Right. And he don't want to go through all of this thing, so we'll we'll be we'll we'll constantly be reading the scriptures all day. If we if you gotta go into every little detail, just like with the with the chip when we going out with the, the estimation of the chip, we're not gonna go in our whole breakdown of the number because then we'll be in that one scripture or them two scriptures all damn day. We the half the camp will be on a on a number. My whole thing is the, the scriptures don't tell you how to perform one surgery, but they figured it out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? By experiment, trial and error. But when the scripture doesn't say you go open the heart and they figured it out. So the most high, Daniel's told them for, knowledge will increase, they're gonna figure things out. There's no scripture to tell you how to fucking make an atomic bomb, right. but it's but it's to tell you that's the same thing. Right. That's they what, figured it shit out. Well we had tutors, right, in the ancient world. Like we go all right, we're going with the scriptures, but other trades you will have your father or whoever teaching you. Yeah, that right. trade or tutor. Mm -hmm. So that that's common sense. The main information, the main things we're supposed to go by is the scriptures first. Mm -hmm. But then you have your tutor and the teacher who, I don't know, make swords or this or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. All right? We, we're not going to go in and we're not going to put all of that in the scriptures. We're going to be here forever. My, my thing, too, is we're going to go right back to the scriptures. They did tests where they was looking at the, uh, they called it the Southern Cross, right? The South Pole, that star constellation. Okay. They have people in Australia and Johannesburg look in two different directions, two different directions and see the same stars. How can that be done on a flat surface? If me and you are looking completely different directions, how can we see the same stars? They had to do that for that image, for that, um, what is it that, that, that the telescope when they were trying to shape out the, um, do the imagery, the black holes? They had to take the images from all the scientists from different parts of the Earth. So I'm, I'm thinking you talk about that too. They give an image of the, of the black holes, yeah. the sphere, the spheres, like the sphere. Shit. Yeah, man. Two people looking in different directions oh, so on the nice. South Pole are gonna see the oh. Southern Cross. Oh, cool. well, Same thing with the North Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, see? you could be in two places, two, two different places on the North Pole, looking direction, different directions, and see the same stars. See? That's on the sphere, man. Like, whatever. Well, uh, first Corinthians. You can't say constellations ain't in the scriptures. That's a good book of Job. Yeah, first Corinthians. Oh, no. One thing too, and my uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but this shows me on the sphere too. Like certain star constellations, you can't see unless you on. You might have to be on like on a, um, the southern part of the Earth where you can see certain right. const certain star constellations, mm -hmm. like certain like um, I think the Orion star constellation. I think we can't see. On this part of the earth. Yeah, yeah. But well, yeah. forgive me if I'm wrong. Oh, the poles play a huge part in it, bro. You have the north the pole, the south. But they don't. They think. I believe on a flat earth, the north is the middle. Right. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm. Again, that's what I researched. They believe that the north is in the middle. Like everything. The reason all things point north is because it's towards the middle. But that we know that's not true. Because you have two different types of north. You have the north pole, and then you have a north that's created by the Earth's magnetism with the equator. Okay. See, so it's what changes. So, I mean, like, look, they they figured this shit out, man. Like I was saying, Judah, you wasn't here. Like, the scriptures don't tell you how an atomic bomb was made, but he still figured it out. The scriptures said they would. Mm -hmm. So, not every little finite fucking thing is going to be explained to you. All right? Uh, but you can extrapolate, huh? Yeah. This is First uh, Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, now we have received... Not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. So That's we right. know we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these things, and it's clear to us. But other people, they can't. 
They can't grasp it. Just like how brilliant, how smart on this side, carnal knowledge, Neil deGrasse might be. He don't, he don't believe the most high exists. He don't have that spiritual wisdom, which is top wisdom. He has this earthly wisdom and he haven't found out what he's seeking for. He's now, looking for all the answers when the men of the Lord have them. Now his dumb ass, he's a smart dumb nigga, all yeah, right? He dumb said dumb we went to the moon. Which is totally fabricated now, and bullshit. Now, first of all, let's deal with it from a scriptural perspective. Now, so if you go into all these myths and bullshit and conspiracies, right? Let's let's go into that. The scripture says flesh and blood, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. We can't take these bodies and go past the Van Helen though, nope. which is about twenty five thousand miles of pure radiation. All right, charged particles from the sun trapped by the earth. And you know what I got to meditate on, bro? I'm like, why the Lord do that? It's like a jail cell, bro. Because if you can go to the moon, then he's going to escape his judgment. You can go to the moon, you go to Mars, and try to run away from the judgment. But the Lord's uh -huh. saying, the judgment has to be pronounced before we can go out there. Yeah. That's you know? why I always used to say that he never left the porch. Well, <laughs> you know, you know, you're a kid, you know, you're, you're a certain age. You stay in this area. You can't leave. You Yo, can't I, leave the porch. Yo, I, you telling me in, in the 1960s, right? They went 25,000 miles, right? Outside the, I was at, no, 250,000 miles outside of, the, out, at, outside of the Earth's atmosphere, all right? And NASA only had the computer, the computer technology of one millionth of a current cell phone. One, they had the computing power, 1960 to NASA, one millionth of the current cell phone, but they can't go back now. So now, that's the thing that I was saying for years, and I asked my teacher, when I was in, um, yo, when I was in, um, like, 10th grade, yeah. I was like, okay, so they went to the moon. She was bringing out the moon landing, all that shit, showing yeah. videos. I said, so they went to the moon landing. Here it is. We're in 1989, and they don't have the technology <laughs> to go back. Yeah. Brother, that's like, that's like them saying, yo, they had a car that could go 50,000 miles on a gallon. In the 60s, but now we can only make cars going 50 miles to the gallon. So, I posed another question when my woman, her daughter, was in school, and they was talking about how they went to the moon. So she had to write an essay. So I wrote an essay for her. I did it. I wrote an essay, and I was going into how they claimed that NASA went to the. I was bringing her all kind of facts, bro. So she passed because. They had no choice to pass her because all oh, the facts I was bringing out. But, and the parents teacher confrontation, you know, parents teacher association, mm -hmm. they called her mother down there, which is my woman, and they was going into how where she get these facts from. But the facts remain that if you went to the moon in 1969, with the technology, with a small capsule, with the spook net, with the Russians going to be the first to go to the so-called outer atmosphere, and then America's following, where did you get the technology? And that technology exists then, but you can you you couldn't develop no more, no more technology. Yeah, and we in 20, 20 fucking fucking three. And you can't develop still no more technology. Leave, can't they cannot leave the Earth's orbit. Try to bring it up, right. It says, it's which crazy. things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teach it, mm -hmm. but which the Holy Spirit teach it. Now, another thing, too, going back to this whole moon landing shit, right? There's no atmosphere on the moon, right? Nope. So when the sun hits it, it could get as hot as 250 degrees. Yep. And when the sun is not hitting it, it could get as low as negative 150 degrees. Right? The moons are lesser light. First yeah. of all, they they show pictures of it, right? They show pictures of, of the moon landing, right? If it's if, if the sun is your only source of light, they land it on the shadows moon. gotta be parallel. Yo, they got situations where the shadow is this way and the shadow will have to go that way. Yeah. That could only become if there's a, a different source of light. You can't have the sun, the sun doesn't cast perpendicular shadows, bro. It's all shadows of the sun cast are parallel, man. So these devils landed on the moon. They went 250 
thousand miles with the 1960s technology, and today they cannot go 400 miles outside the atmosphere. It's, it's foolishness. That's like um, you have your light on all day, right? Can an ant, uh, your light bulb, can an ant crawl on that light bulb? Hell, yeah. fucking no. It's gonna and burn I'm them up. An ant, you know what I mean? But, yo, I'm, but you're right though. It's foolishness, right? The light is burning. Slack it. The slack it. The light is burning. Eight hours, and then a then a then a fucking fly land on the fucking bulb. He's gonna. He's gonna. He, it's so the bulb is so hot. It's gonna fucking burn his shit. He's gonna fly off. Oh, in the, in the dark side of the moon, that's a dimmer light, but it's okay. still light. That's east. okay. Now, okay, that's east. So in his fuckery. Now, after the uh, World War Two, you had something called Operation Paperclip, where they took the far more. Um, technologically, um, like you know, the, the, those that had the technology side of the rockets. Project Paperclip was they in took, the town, but it's the scientists. It's lucky. They took German. They divided up the German scientists, Nazi scientists, between Russia and the United States. One of the most foremost scientists was a man named Von, Werner von Braun, Brown, Brown, who was aided in creating a, you know, all these different rockets and stuff. He said, for us to go to the moon, that they'll have to make. Um, a rocket the size of the Empire State Building weighed 800,000 tons for it, to, for it to go to or to make that particular trip. So in other words, he was saying we can't do it. And on his deathbed, I mean on his on his on his on his tombstone is written Psalms 19 and 1. Because he said at the end of the day, God did not give us the power to go there. That's one of our Brown. Yeah. And you know, and the four horsemen the four horsemen was the four, they had the four horsemen the, the that created the the, the, Adam, the um, Adam bomb was um, Jack Parsons, Werner Von Brown, Robert Oppenheimer, and what's other guy? I forget his name. Um, it was four. Albert Einstein. It could have been Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, Werner Von Brown, Jack Parsons, and um. Albert Oppenheimer. These was the one that was because of the four horsemen. And Oppenheimer, Albert, Albert Oppenheimer has a video saying he became the, um, the harbinger of death. See? You know? The destroyer of worlds. It says, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Or which your Holy Spirit teach it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we do dispose of dark missiles, but you don't just throw that on somebody to start it. Right. You know, you don't go into, like, deep things. Like, right now, what we're going to, and, like, we, we speak, we, you know, we're cutting out a conspiracy, but also we're bringing out deep things according to the scriptures. A lot of people don't understand that, um, that we live in a geocentric universe, and that's in the scriptures, you know? So, so what? It says, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, mm -hmm. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of, of the Most High. So he should have been focused on the spiritual things, the salvation, the nationality, who your enemy is. Not wrapped up in the flat earth and all this other shit, all right? Now, going back to that whole moon landing shit, you know what you got to look up? Look up Apollo 1. Apollo 1 was the was a three-man crew that was supposed to originally go before Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong and them guys, right? But the guy was a whistleblower. He was a man of integrity, so he couldn't. He, he wouldn't lie. You know what they did, bro? They locked this rocket up, them three, and burned the motherfuckers alive. Right. And you heard the audio of them saying that the, one, the last one of the last words he said was, "How the hell are we gonna go to the moon if we, could, if we can't uh, uh, create communication between two buildings?" Yeah. That was his last word. Then he, he played, ah, ah, and he had to just blow up and burn his ass, man. Yeah. And, and when you shooting up out of space like that, when you get to a certain, because you know there's no gravity once it get a certain level. No, 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 no. There's, there's a difference between being in a vacuum and zero gravity. Okay. The moon, there's no vacuum. All right. There is gravity still acting around yeah. it. Yeah. But it's a no vacuum. Yeah. And don't want to get up so high up there. They could spin out of control. Like you, yeah. you saw one of them when that, that, that dude, dude did the jump. jump. That's yeah. what I was trying to mention. And yeah, also, the the there's no up yeah. and down. There's no, there's no up and down out of space. Yeah. 
no, like what we we in certain bounds. There's no up and down out there, so you can't say up and down. That doesn't exist. So what happens to that dude that spin out of control? Did he die? No, 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 that was a Red Bull dude. He he yeah. just wanted to break the sound barrier. I think Felix he went, ball caught. Yeah. Ball, no, no, I can't pronounce. He went as fast as he went a uh, Mach one point five. Okay. Yeah. So there's certain conspiracies. You know, NASA, they're lying ass motherfuckers. NASA, first of all, they were formed by like a satanic course and some shit like that. I forgot the name of it, but. Yeah, you could, you know, they didn't go to the moon, but you can't say, you know, you know what they'll say? They'll say, um, with NASA, you know, you tell people that they didn't go to the moon, were well, you telling me everybody was in it? 250,000 people, 300,000 people was in on it? How they don't know? But wait a minute, 150,000 people worked on the autonomous bomb, but they didn't know they were created. Yeah, exactly. Because it was done. Only four, only yeah. four men. Yeah. The four horsemen that knew exactly what they was creating. Yeah. Said, so you was a highly secretive, mm -hmm. Um, project that was being produced during the 1940s, mm -hmm. 43, 44, and 45. They unleashed Fat Boy and Little Man upon Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's exactly. called above your pay grade. Or so you people have no clue of what's going on, even to this very day, mm -hmm. what's going on in the in the government and how they bring forth exactly. this new world order. Yeah. And we telling you, we bringing out. Yeah. It's like we bringing out the truth. Of the new world order, but you people refuse to take heed because we look like you. But it was your father, the devil was the so called white man, you will take heed to what he's telling you. But being that the information is coming out and it's facts, you could you could Google it, you could research it, it's facts, and we bring out the truth. Being that we look like you, you don't wanna take it, you don't wanna accept yeah. it. Go to type in duck, duck, go to go to a private browser and then type in Operation Slam Dunk. Operation <laughs> Slam Dunk, it lets you know that it's about only 15 people that knew about what was going on over there in um, Roswell, New Mexico. Alright? That they was pretty much had Stanley Kubrick and they staged that shit. They staged the woman and it on a private set. And the dude, Stanley Kubrick said yeah. that, we couldn't bring, bring this up. Stanley Kubrick said that he lived for 20 years in fear of his life. For what he knew. And he knew that they was going to kill him. What happened? They yeah. put him to death after a while. The dude that um, Wait, produced movie, that eyes movie, that spirit, eyes, washed, eyes Wide Shut. That was the one with Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey, the dude that made that movie, Eyes Wide Shut, what happened to him? And they show you on the yeah, um, One more thing, I know you love yeah, it. We gotta bring this clip together. We're gonna talk too much. Yeah. We gotta bring this clip together. It says, uh, back in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, it says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually spiritually discerned. And that's the, the natural man, these niggas out here that you see, man. They don't understand the scriptures, bro. They don't understand the prophecies. They don't, they're not spiritual. They're not thinking on a spiritual level. They're thinking on a carnal level. You know what I mean, Bobby Kishore? It says, this is 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High because they're thinking on a carnal level. They can't think on a spiritual level. They're not. They're not receiving the revelations that Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is bringing to his, his elect men that's chosen to, to, to preach this truth out in the harvest and the Bible. It says, for they are foolishness unto him. For, for the spiritual days is foolishness to a natural man. The spiritual days that's coming out in these scriptures are foolishness to the natural man. Yeah, right. It says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Never show he never can even know that they are spiritually discerned. They don't know the um, the right of passage with this truth. The right of passage with this truth and the right of passage with philosophies of Esau, man. Learn the Bible on on traditions of men. Read what? Okay, okay, okay. Go 13 and 4. But ye are forces of lies. We are all positions of no value. And these Edomites, so-called white men, are forces of lies. They oh, man, I, flat earth. Cut. How did I get this this, this um society? Uh, once they established through the Renaissance, then you had somebody called Charles Darwin that came in that brought Darwinism and 
You had other people come bringing in flat earth theories, but Charles Darwin is brought in evolution, whereas people involved from monkeys. So if that was the case, why not? People still evolved from monkeys. Show you that that Charles Darwinism is a bunch of bullshit. And then my woman, her daughter, was caught up in that Charles Darwinism. And I was telling her that that's another bunch of bullshit. Oh, so she was like, oh, men of rough apes. I said, listen, so that means you don't believe in the most high. So another thing, if men evolve, evolve I'm saying, evolve from um, monkeys, why they not uh -huh. still evolving? She was like, uh, 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 hummer, 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 and then she got mad. Her mother got mad at me when I said that. Stuff from T -Rex. I had yeah. a cut for that. This is first Corinthians. You got it? Are you first Corinthians 15 and 39? All flesh is not the same flesh, That's right. but there is one kind of flesh of man, another flesh of beast. There's uh, one kind of flesh of man, and another kind of flesh of beast. Meaning, a beast is a lion, a hippopotamus, a tiger, a monkey. A ape, a fucking cat, a dog, that's different flesh, we It says there's one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. And another of fishes. Now you got another flesh, check it out. You got flesh of beasts, which is tigers, lions, leopards, um, um zebras, elephants, hyenas, yeah, fucking let's, 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 pork, yeah, you know what I mean? Pork, so yeah, go so, um, and then you got another flesh of fishes, which is in the sea. You got whales, humpback whales, you got um, killer whales, you got uh, um, salmon, striped bass, you have sharks, you have all kind of manner of, of fishes in the sea. Then you got the bottom feeders, yeah, bro. Yeah, but when you go in the book of Genesis, it tells you that you know, man was created and the beast was created and the fowls was created. Good. So they were created in separation as older. Different you know? flesh. And the thing the thing that comes evolution is this. You don't have lower life forms create higher life forms. It is you know what I mean? You can't have a higher creation before the lower creation. Like we're not we didn't create the most high. The most high they are higher beings than us. They created us. Higher intelligence create lower intelligence, man. That's right. And if you look at the human body, the human body is kind of like a car, bro. You know, you pop open the hood, you know, this does this, that does that, that runs the engine. You cut open the human body, it's like it was designed. The heart does this, the, it's the, this is designed that your eye does this. The lung does this, the, lung does this, the, the kidneys does this. does this, the liver does this, you know what I mean? And cars don't just pop out of existence, man. They're designed. So, and I think they think it's the math, like it was like the, 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 the chances of having life on earth is like winning a power ball a hundred times in a row. You know? Just like a, a quarter car engine uses a gasoline, our body uses um, the food and in the, in the cells it makes, in the mitochondria it makes ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's the energy molecule that keeps us doing hard work, moving around, even when we're sleeping. All that is all right. designed. Yeah, you got it. Chromosomes, yeah. all that stuff is by design. Yeah, yep, you got it. So it says, but you are forces of lies, you are all physicians of no value. And these devils are forces of lies. What they did, how they, how they captured this society, man? How they captured America? Do lies, and then what they did was do conquering, murdering, and deceit. And then what they did was, once they established their kingdom, they put up their own, their own images, and forces them, and forcing lies, and tell brethren, you see? Because they know that, do the, before the Renaissance ever, that the image of Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shah was so-called black men. You know what I mean? But they was forces of lies. They forced them lies and said that you got now they got little baby angels and they got the finger of God, you know, a homo a homosexual looking man putting a finger against another homosexual man which probably was King David, I don't know, you know. But that's what they pushed. They forced up lies, man. Was it for Positions of no, positions of no value. That's what they are. They are products of deceit. To deceive you, to believe in they 
form of Christianity, which is plantation Christianity and Renaissance Christianity. And that's what they have, man. And that's what you people believe in. You believe in the precepts of men, and you believe in the fear of the Most High through the precepts of men. And that's why two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Most High will fuck you up, man. Real talk. Yeah, bro. This is uh, Colossians chapter 2, I'm sorry, 6. It says, As ye have therefore received a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. How you have received the words of Most High, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, so walk ye in him. The same thing you have read, read from the scriptures, you have received from the apostles, and you have learned these days, walk in the, 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 the path that the apostles put forth from you. And not only the apostles, when you go into the scriptures, the scriptures, the scriptures is a guideline for you to walk in perfect harmony with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. Yeah, bro. It says, rooted and built up in him. Rooted and being built up in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man. Being rooted, man. Not being taken by these goddamn women. Not being taken by, by. We don't want to where we dogs yeah, within these philosophies. That's what happened to this guy. Because I kept telling him, you need a teacher. He didn't have a foundation. If you don't have a foundation, if you don't have a foundation, if you're not rooted in the scriptures, you're going to be tossed to and fro. Like, from the wind. Every wind of doctrine is going to be tossed you to and fro. Like, if you look at this tree right here, a wind can't knock it down. But some some winds are stronger that could, that could uproot trees, all right? They have certain um, trees that have to be bigger to... To sustain it, you know. But guess what, though, bro? The Lord have you, this dude. The Lord have you bringing out these things to him for a reason. If he's, if 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 he's a part of the elect, he's going to catch what you're saying, and he's going to listen to what you're bringing out. He's going to learn. But if not, rooted and built up in him, and establishing the faith as he have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Rooted and built up in the faith and established had you as you been taught from your apostles, your elders, and your bishops, rooted and grounded as you has been taught. Not going off the way with doctrines, not going off to your own understanding or to your own understanding. Believe in some flat earth theory, man. That shit is bullshit, man. They tell you in the scriptures, man, the most I sit from the circles of heaven, man. It's real, man. It, it, the earth ain't fucking fat, man. Yeah, bro, me? It says, beware lest any man spoil you. Beware lest any man spoil you. How can a man spoil you? But with, with his vain opinions and his bullshit philosophies, man. That's, like a, that's how a man can spoil you, man. That's how a man can spoil you. Will you be all fucked up in the spirit, not knowing what the hell, not discerning the truth from fucking fabrication and fiction, man. Because, hey, guess what, man? The Lord put his prophets out here to teach the truth. Whether you were here, whether you were forbear, pursuant to Ezekiel 3 and 17, man. Pursuant to Ezekiel 33, chapter 33, verse 1 on down, man. It's real here to warn you. If you don't, if you, if you don't take heed to the warnings, guess what? Your blood is upon your own hands, man. You know? We are here teaching this world in season, out of, out of season, man. Through sleep, rain, snow, we teaching this world, man. Yeah, bro. Right? Since the world lets any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. The philosophies of... Yeah, yeah, hold on. No, we got to talk, but like, bro. I got a pipe down because you keep you want me like three times. So, so we did again, bro. We did so many. Yeah, we can get, bro. It says, "Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit." Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophies, philosophies of Esau, the philosophies of Esau, his bullshit. Charles Darwinism, the flat earth derby, you know, God, God loves everybody. Um, what else? Yeah, God loves everybody. Moon landing. The moon landing. These are vain, deceased philosophies of Esau, the so-called white man. 
we the, the, the sun is going to um, give out, burn out. Right. Right. The sun is going to burn out. Right. The sun is going to burn out. 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 Right. Okay. It says, after the, the traditions of men, after the, 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 the traditions of men, and here we have it. We bring it out, the traditions of men, their philosophies, and everything that comes forth from the devil, man. It's nothing but vomit, man, being spewed out upon the people. And they don't want to wallow in that vomit and be taken. But guess what? Only the elect is going to take heed to the words of your Howard White, your Howard Shah, and come back. But the rest is going to be taken. Two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're going to fall by the sport pursuant to Zephaniah, um, Zechariah 13 and 8. Yeah, bro. It says. After the rudiments of the world and not after the anointing. After the rudiments of the world, the rudiments of the world, Esau's philosophies, all his bullshit on um, vain babbling that he pushing out here, man. Yeah, bro, you got more? Proverbs 6 16. These six things that the Lord Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto heaven. Come. A proud look. A proud look, which Esau has. Esau has a proud look. Not only do Esau have the proud look, but you got these nigga women. You got these women out here. They have. They got proud looks. Yeah, okay, bro. It's a, a lying tongue. Esau has a lying tongue. A proud look and a lying tongue. Esau has that lying tongue because his kingdom has been built on lies. Yeah, yeah, bro. You gotta understand when Esau puts something out on the news or whatever stuff like he's dealing with now, any philosophy. You gotta filter it back to the Because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna say certain things that are factual and accurate according to the Bible and common sense. But he's gonna mix lies in there too. Because a lot of people that like for example, when you look at people that just move that they don't go to the they didn't go to the moon, they'll say, Oh, so you're a flat earther? Like so you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like you're really pointing out, look, now they didn't really go there, they're trying to move you on some bullshit. But you gotta understand. He saw he loves to mix truth with lies. That's, that's what the devil does. do. That's how he does it. That's what the devil does, man. So you got more? Yeah, um, I got, I, I'm going to keep reading. It says, Yea, seven on abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. It's not Esau fitting these criteria. Did not Esau shed innocent, did not Esau shed innocent blood coming over this land, killing over 100 million Native Americans, bringing over Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which is the southern kingdom, to um, work free labor, which is slavery. Yeah, bro. Oh, this is, I got something. This is Job 13 and 4. The ye are forges of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. These devils are forces of lies. They are physicians of no value. They'll bring out Certain things that the Charles Darwinism. Charles Darwin was in the 1800s. Here it is. He's talking about evolution and how man was created. But you was born in the 1800s. But this, but this civilization, but this civilization was way before you was even born. So how the hell you can? And I even told my woman's daughter that. How you can even? Believe in this bullshit that Charles Darwinism and this dude was born in the 1800s. Here, this civilization was going back. This earth is like 13,000 years old. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, it's millions of years old. Prove it. Prove it. You can't prove it, but I can prove to you that the earth is 13,000 years old. Yeah, that's another thing, too. That dude, look, he believes that the earth is six days, like those six days in Genesis. He believes it's actual days. That dude, that's what I'm saying. You need to yeah. My, my whole thing is this. My whole thing is this, right? How can you have a day before the sun? And, and you know, I mean, but hey, bro. How can you have a day before the sun, right? The earth says the first and second day before the sun was created. How do you have a day before the sun? Hey, bro, it's check it out. We're going to bro, bro. But we see he's bucking up too much, man. Let that I'm dude not go. Man. You let him go? I let him go. Like, because at one point he, he stopped replying to my text. Because, you know, I'm going to have an answer. Like, you know, I'm going to have an answer. But at so, this point, it's just like. Let that nigga go, bro. You. See, you, everything he's saying, you bringing out scriptures, and you and, and you got to answer for his bullshit. If he's not 
If we still broke up, let that nigga go, bro. That's fucking 19 years old. You just picked up the scriptures, what? Not even a year ago. You don't even know. What the fuck you know about the scriptures, bro? So, hey, man. Tell you, Jake, man. Jake. Control, um, control. Jake, bro. Jake is so fucking filled with bullshit because they have learned the precepts of the fear of the most side do men. So they feel like everybody can be saved, the earth is flat, everything, you, you know, everything could be, you know, I mean, brought up in one lump sum, but it's not the truth, man. This world has not found out what's the secret. Is that more? That's right. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, I'm going to start at 18. It says, let no man deceive himself any man among you seeming to be wise in this world let no man deceive you listen to the scriptures let no man deceive you if any man seem to be wise in this world the philosophies of this world the flat earth theory you know um evolution, evolution and universe. everything that the purpose is bringing that we have been bringing out that we it says if any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that, that he may be wise. Let him become a fool that he may be wise because you're you a fool in this society, man, because you you know um, believing the philosophies of this society which is gonna lead to your destruction. You know, because you have not a clue of what the Heavenly Father and his his agenda and his purpose are out here speaking the agenda of the Heavenly Father. So now you taking on the philosophies of Esau, of mortal men, and not hearing the philosophy, hearing the truth of Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, but you're going to take on philosophies of belief of a man. You're going to, it's going to lead you to your destruction. The true doctrine is Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, man, and what he has planned. Let him become a fool that he may be wise. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For the wisdom of this world, Charles Darwinism, the flat earth theory, and any other wisdom of this world is foolishness to Yahweh, why Yahweh shall. Yeah, you understand? Only if, only if it contradicts with the scriptures. Only if it contradicts with the scriptures. Right? Cut, man. Cut. Cut. Right. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And now, let me clarify myself. Why did I say the wisdom of this world only if it contradicts with Lord? There's a lot of things that we brought out. That's the science that you learned in school. Like the brother goes into the atoms and the force of the protons and whatever. Like, look, if that's not contradicting with the scriptures, okay. You know? The science so the circumferences, the Pythagoras theorem, A squared, B squared equals C squared. You know, that's some shit you learn in school, right? But it's, it's, if it's true, it's true, you know? Again, if it doesn't contradict with the scriptures. It says, and again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, and they are vain. Yeah, man. So that's what it is, man. The thoughts of the, the, the so-called ways of this uh, world, all right? The so-called, you know, education system and all these uh, theories and philosophies, all right? Ultimately, they're vain. Right? They really, and, 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 and all these things are going to be proven and, and brought to naught when the Lord, you know, makes his return. All right? This is uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Yeah, that serpent, uh, yeah, that serpent, that was Esau before, the, before he lost his melanin. Because a serpent is a vicious, malicious person, a treacherous person. He was more subtle than all the other creatures, because we're all creatures. All right? You got that family of Adam, Ad Adamites, the Adam, the, the head of the Adamites, and you have the other nations. But the serpent was more subtle. Oh, because the serpent, they 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 they, they use they use timing, man. They use timing before they attack their prey. They're more cunning. Alright? And that serpent was um, Esau. Okay. So what? He put he um he got he got he got Eve. He went to Eve first. Then he went to then Eve went to Adam. While 
to bring out the philosophies, man, so Adam could go off. Yeah, they, that's how you go. That's how you attack someone. You go through the woman. All right, well, if you was ever in cells or whatever, you would, you would like to roll up on a, on a female, all right, because they would, in this society, dictate what's going on. They're more, you could easily run game on them quick. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. It says, now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field. A treacherous what? person, uh, any beast, any other arm that of creation, uh, meaning mankind. Which the Lord power had made, uh -huh. and he said unto the woman, Yea, had the, had the Lord, had the Most High said, ye shall, not, uh, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Yeah, food for thought. That's our um, knowledge. Um, knowledge on the arm. Um, you have knowledge on the right, knowledge on the left hand side. So you're not supposed to go off, all right? It says, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Yeah. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High had said, You shall not eat of it. Yeah, not the, the, the philosophies, man. It's not actual fruit. Right. You ever hear the term food for thought? Right. It says, Neither shall ye touch it, Lest ye die. Yeah, neither you touch it, you die. You go off. Sin, sin is transgression of the law. And do, do sin, that's what brings death. Right? You know? It says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Now he lied. That's the first line of scripture. That's the day he lied. He lied. That's the first lie. And um, they did become God's knowledge of good and evil, but it wasn't, but they went off. Uh -huh. It says, For the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open. Eyes shall be open. So you you'll be no you'll have that you have the knowledge on the right hand, but on the left hand side too. You get me? It says that ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Knowing good and evil. Yeah, it's true, but it came with a price. Alright? It's just, it's like, it's like, Adam and Eve in the garden, they were like, in like a childlike state, if you will. Like, you know, a child is very innocent, he doesn't really know what it's doing. Now they got the understanding, the comprehension. When you look at it, it's like a brother. A child, you know, you can tell a kid, like, there's a Santa Claus down there, and they don't believe it. Or if somebody come along and tell them, ah, man, that's a bunch of lies, Santa Claus ain't this, Santa Claus ain't that. Or if you're like, nah, man, I didn't want my kid to know that it was me coming down the chimney. And I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the Lord wanted a certain knowledge hit from the period of time. Yeah. And that serpent came and just started yeah. feeding them a whole bunch of philosophies. And they got caught up because if you don't know anything, you know what I'm saying? All you know is righteous, you know what I'm saying? That you got. I mean, nah, brother. Nah. Yeah, look, they're possible into it. They were going off, but they didn't even know they were going off. They come because. They were naked. Because. Because they was yeah. going into the philosophies of these different nations, man. Yeah, because yeah, once you have the robe of righteousness, they the robe of righteousness, so it showed they wasn't actual naked. Of yeah. course, you know what I mean? but they, yeah, they once they became on. naked, they didn't have the, yeah. the robe of righteousness on them. They became naked because that robe of righteousness was stripped off them. Yeah. And they was out there dipping and dabbing in the different philosophies, no, in the different no, nations. No, brother, they were naked, and then they put on robes. That's what the scripture said. They said they put apron upon themselves, meaning they were blowing off. But they didn't understand what they were doing. Like I said, like a child. Like you have a baby doing bad and shit, it doesn't know any better. And they got the understanding of knowing better. But they put them in anguish of these different philosophies. That's the anguish they put on. They was, they became naked because they lost the truth of the true foundation of what you have why you have a shop brought forth. But they took on the philosophies of these different nations and they was became naked. Then they put on aprons of the different nations and they which represent their philosophy. And you see the serpent is doing the same today. And look, the woman, um, yo, you know, you um you know, the feminism. You you Feminist. could be you could be you could be That's a man. equal or above from that, um so you could be no, a leader no, now. One second, we gotta clarify this. In the beginning, Adam and Eve they were not completely righteous. Because remember, it said they were naked. Matter of fact, um Adam and Eve, Eve was somebody taking close to Adam. What did the Lord say? 
the law was able to make a hundred million thing clean because yeah, that was right. a very close to fit probably the system. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't deal with your system now. But back then it was just that time period. But they were right. you know, but the yeah. law had to do on that. And then after a while the, the law set it up, all right, listen, you can't deal you can't deal with a certain like yeah, you can't deal with like um, first cousins and you get what I'm saying when the scriptures when the scriptures yeah. start saying, yo, this is who you could deal with yeah. with me and family. Well, remember the apostle of the ball went into it. Why was Adam going into a deep trance? Because he's about to go over. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> how you went over? The most I put him a deep trance because he ain't going to sleep. Sleep with somebody that's close to king to him. Born and born, flesh on flesh. That's what they're talking about. It was talking about the most I had operation operating on Adam and took his rib out yeah. and made him never know. No, no, it's going into Adam, going into him, see with somebody close to Kent. And at that time, the Lord didn't want him to really know, like, you know, that's the wrong law or nothing like that. The Lord had certain things at that time, like the apostle said, to keep the gun line pure. But so there was a lot of the things they didn't, they weren't aware of. Yeah. And you had the demons come um, and bring them aware of things. That's Exactly, and that's yeah. why the prophets had the first day of Adam. They put him because he, the voice. Because then the time of Adam, the prophet was out there. It's like it. Then the time of Adam, the prophet was out there. And to tell you that um, the voice of the Lord was out there. So who was the voice of the Lord? Those the prophets. Then the time of Adam. Even right. then the time of Adam, there was prophets out there prophesying. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so it was just the law was oral. It was, all, like it was all oral. It was all speaking through the mouth of the prophets. <laughs> the proof of that, that's right. The prophets were telling them the Lord what to do and not to do because the proof on that was Cain got, um, um, not Cain, um, Canaan, all right, uh, Ham, Ham was cursed because he looked upon his father's nakedness. How, how did they, how, how was that? Well, you know what I'm saying? The Lord did not set up yet, but, that, but it was spoken about orally that you're not supposed to be looking at your prophet. Yeah. 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 I was a prophet yeah. telling you you're supposed to do that. Well, why would you want to do that, though? Because, you know, hey, it was prophesied that, that, that Cain was going to be cursed. Ham, Ham, Ham. In other words, Ham, look, but why did the two brothers go not to look? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they walked walk in with the back, but still saying, they, 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 they put them like that. But why did they do that? They had to have been taught that, but how did they fall to know that? Do 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 the prophets? Don't say so. Just like it says, the prophets in the cool of the day, they was out there during the time of Adam. They, the prophets were out there yeah. speaking, prophesizing. You know what I mean? But you had Eve go off and had Adam go off, and here it is. They was, you know, um, they became naked, meaning they didn't have the garments of the truth on them anymore. They became naked and they put on. Um, eight ways of the different nations, man. The philosophy of the different nations. Yeah. Naked represents sin, right? Exactly. So at the beginning, so the, at the beginning, they were sin, brother. That's correct right. now, right? But they were naked, but there's different scriptures tell you that we became naked. Sin is pretty much to be synonymous with being naked. Being yeah, naked, yeah, kind of. The creatures made something for them. Now, you can put on a pearl, you can put on, you can clothe yourself, but the scriptures also speak about stranger pearl. Not every philosophy you put on is the right of pearl. Get it? So the power that they put on was the philosophies of the other nations. You know? They knew that they were going off, but at the same time, right? They won't keep the possession of the No? Because uh, you had mentioned the fruit. It's not talking about actual fruit. This is Hosea 10 and 13. Be of God wickedness, you have reaped iniquity, you have eaten the fruit of lies. Yep, see? That's showing uh, those um, those lies, man. Them, um, that false doctrine, all right. The philosophies, man. That witchcraft. Okay. You know what proves that too? It's like it's like like let's take for example this LGBTQ shit right now. That's heavy, right? They push it first on the woman. You know, a man could be a woman and woman accepted. And what they do? They go along with a lot of them because of any woman. I said not an example, all right? Some of the bullshit that they learn in college. Who's the number one people in college right now? We're women. Yeah. So they indoctrinate the women in colleges because their mind is easy to be old. Whoa. When that jab came around, who believed in what brought a woman? So the so-called white man, but nothing new under the sun. He always goes after the woman, and women outnumber men. So they, they will always seem like the majority of the voices. You know what? This is a, a, a quote from Adolf Hitler. Indoctrinate the woman. 
if they have a weak man, therefore they will bring that indoctrination to their husband and indoctrinate him, and hence the children will follow. And women don't operate in logic. The word logic goes back to the Greek word logos, which means reason. They don't, they're not, they don't operate by reason. Our reason is the scriptures. Women operate off their feelings, which are subject to change. And a, a, a feeling is very malleable. You can play on it. You can play on people's emotions. Where a man, he's able to separate his emotion and use logical and thinking. Logic. Because you can't, they ask this dude, right? I'm, I'm gonna be quick, they ask this dude, would you rather have sex with a beautiful trans woman or the oldest woman? And the guy said, I'll choose the oldest woman because if I had sex with a trans woman, I'll be having sex with a biological man, which is homosexuality. And the bitch got upset. You fucking serious? As a Christian, you're gonna say that? You're gonna judge? Are you kidding me? Like, Are you fucking goddamn right, bitch? All he said was something factual. A so called trans woman is a biological man. Hence, having sex with a biological man would just even make homosexual. So I would have I would have sex with an old woman in her fucking fifties than have sex with a fucking transgender looking woman in their fucking twenties, man. Are you kidding me, man? Right. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Yo, these yo, 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 these people are bugged out of their mind, man. Woman, bro. Look, look at look at the people that's petitioning for um transgenderism for two year olds and who's petitioning for women say all this type of stuff is always women at the forefront because they're, they're feminism, they just the easiest to believe shit, man. Women are fucking and you know what? Women are very gullible and, and I have always heard I've always heard this. You gotta treat a woman and talk to women like she's a 14 year old little girl. You talk to a woman like a 14 year old girl and you're gonna be able to understand her and she's gonna be able to understand you. If you treat her like a 14 year old girl, like a little girl, I don't care if she's 36 years old. Talk to her like a 14 year old girl well, and she's gonna be able to understand what you say. Well look at this. When a woman say take her out, you can take a woman out in no place different than where you can take out a child. They even buses, they want to go there and play the little games. Oh, let me tell you. Let, let's go play mini, mini golf. They do sh let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. A woman, a fucking 30 year old woman. Want to go to Chuck E. Cheese? Want to go to Chuck E. Cheese in a arcade. Just like the same mind. Just like the same mind as a child, man. That's why I says. Bro, I took my woman to go bouncing on trampolines. Like, <laughs> Let me tell you this. The only that, bro, my woman is in her fifties, bro. My woman is fifty-four, bro. And she would and we went on um, she wanted to go on so called so called horseback riding, right? But they had like imitation horseback riding where we going on imitation horseback, you know what I'm saying? And the horse is bucking up and all that. I'm like, okay, okay, what the fuck kind of fun is this? You know what I'm saying? But I went there to appease her. You know what I mean? And then when we went there, we, we had drinks and everything, and we like play pool. Not because she wanted to, she, she called pool boring, but I wanted to play pool. But I'm like, I gave her her, her, um, her adventure, but when I went my adventure, she was like, nah, she was not with it. Show you the shuffleness of women. I, 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 I pieced her through her the whole goddamn day. But when we were in the quarter of the day, but when we went to play pool, when I went to play pool, she considered that boring. Yeah, a woman, a woman is not saying, let's, let's play some chess. Um, and then, you know what's so funny, they don't think video games is something that's immature, but the thing with video games is this. It, it's, it's, it's how quickly can your mind process information and, and your motor skills cores, correspond with your brain. That's how come men advance in these things. You know what I'm saying? Well, we can. You know? With that, we're going to give all praises to you. How about you? Outside by Shimakaka Dash. I'm not going to be a boss. 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 I'm not going to be a boss.